Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. This is Preeti Ghosh and welcome to my YouTube channel, which is all about lifestyle and education. So, if you are looking for a channel where you can get different aspects of lifestyle and yes, at the same time, get access to wide range of books and educational videos, so you are subscribing to the right channel. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. As you can see on your screens, we are starting with chapter 1 of Prachi Publication Science Textbook of Class 5. So, what is the name of the first chapter? The first chapter is Growing Plants. So, let's look into this first chapter. So, the first chapter is Growing Plants as I have said. So, we all know that plants grow from seed. Yes, plants grow from seed. But what are the conditions or what are the stages of these? Let's see. So first, the seed is sown in the soil. As you can see, that is given in the picture. So the first is seed is sown in the ground. Now, here it will get the air, it will get water and then get transformed into Plumule and radical. What are the two parts here? Plumule and radical. Now, the plumule part will get converted into shoot system. Which system? Shoot system. And the radical part will get converted into root system. Which system? Root system. Yes. And now, further the plant will appears begin to appear with leaves and other parts of plants. Okay? So, this was the stages of seeds. That how it gets developed into a new and big plant. So, now let us see what are the parts of seed. Aren't we curious to know about it? Yes, of course. So, let's discuss about that. So, here you can see there is a term that is seed coat. What is the term? Seed coat. What is seed coat? So, here it is. The outer hard covering of the seed. What is it? The outer hard covering of the seed is called seed coat. Okay? Now, let's see the other term that is being Highlighted here. What is it? Embryo. What is it? Embryo. What is the meaning of embryo? Let us find out. The tiny plant that is inside the seed coat is called embryo. What is it? The tiny delicate part of the seed coat that is inside the seed coat. The tiny plant is called Embryo. Okay. So, if you want to get a proper vision of parts of seed, you can soak the seed in water for a night. Okay. So, now when you will get up in the morning, you will see the parts of the seed or you can also say the structure of the seeds more prominently. Okay. So, before that, First, let us see what is this word cotyledon means. What is the word cotyledon means? Okay. So, what is the cotyledon? Cotyledon is that fleshy part of the plant that stores food for the baby plant. What is the cotyledon? It is that fleshy part of the plant that stores food for the baby plant. Okay, now there are few plants with one cotyledon, few have two cotyledon. So, the plants with one cotyledon are called monocot plant. Okay, what are they called? Monocot plant. And on the other hand, plants with two cotyledons are called dicot plants. What are they called? They are called 
dicot plants yes so we got to know about monocot plants and dicot plants so let's see example of these two so you can see in your screens also maize wheat rice these are the examples of monocot plants okay now what are the examples of dicot plants those are gram beans these are the examples of dicot plants okay and also what is the meaning of monocot mono means one and di means two that is why monocots have one cotyledon and dicots have two cotyledons okay so we learned about the different parts of seed and we also learned about the different stages of germination yes from here you might be wondering what is germination isn't it so the change of seed into a seedling is called germination what is it called it is called germination so what are the parts of germination sorry what are the conditions required for germination what are those those are proper amount of water air and warmth so what are the essential requirements for seed to get germinated those are proper amount of water air and warmth okay so now as we have already discussed before that the plumule will get convert into which system yes shoot system and the radicle will get converted into which system yes that is root system but which one comes first the first is the root so the first the root comes followed by the shoot system understood till here so now so before we move further let us see what we learned in today's video so let us find out here are few points that i have jotted down that what we have learned in today's video so what are those first we learned about seed coat then we learned about cotyledons those are also known as seed leaves what are they also known as seed leaves then we know then we got to know about embryo what do we get to know about we got to know about embryo then we learned about monocot plants dicot plants and finally we learned what is germination so that's all for today we will continue with this particular chapter in my next video that is part 2 of this chapter thank you so that's all about today's video do like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and yes don't forget to hit the bell icon